Welcome back, everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of pharmacology and statistical analysis. We'll learn how to determine the IC50, a critical parameter that measures the potency of drugs, using GraphPad Prism. So, let's get started. In pharmacology and drug development, the IC50, or half maximal inhibitory concentration, plays a crucial role. Determining the IC50 is essential as it allows researchers to compare the potency of different drugs. A lower IC50 signifies higher potency, meaning a drug can achieve its effects at lower concentrations. The first step is to import your dose response data into GraphPad Prism. In the table, you'll need two columns one for the logarithm, base 10, of drug concentrations and another for the corresponding drug responses as percentages. Go to the Analyze tab and select Nonlinear Regression Dose Response Inhibition. When a new dialog box pops up, check the option that is the best for your data. Check the Interpolate box and click OK. After the analysis is complete, you'll see a new window displaying the fitted curves and the calculated IC50 values. The IC50 represents the concentration at which the drug produces a half-maximal response. The lower the IC50 value, the more potent the drug. Now that we have our IC50 values, it's time to interpret the results. Compare the IC50s of drug A and drug B to understand their relative potencies. And there you have it. You've learned how to determine the IC50 of two different drugs using GraphPad Prism. The IC50 is a crucial parameter in pharmacology and drug development, providing valuable insights into a drug's effectiveness. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more scientific tutorials and data analysis tips. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.